Today, I want to talk about this, what I've been calling the Awesome House. This is a project I've been working on for the past year or so. It aims to be an open source Six Degrees of Freedom mouse that acts as a USB HID device and can be used for CAD or other applications that support Six Degrees of Freedom joystick inputs. Its construction is almost entirely 3D printed, with the only exceptions being the PCB, 9 M3x10 fasteners, and 3 dimes. The awesome mouse works off the principle of inductive sensing, where an inductor is created by making a coil-shaped trace on a PCB, then an alternating current is applied to that coil to induce an alternating magnetic field around it. That alternating magnetic field can then be used to detect nearby metallic objects by inducing eddy currents within them that oppose the original magnetic field and adjust the oscillation frequency of the detecting coil. It's basically magic, and if you don't understand it, don't worry. I hardly understand it myself. You can see, though, that when I take this screw and place it close to the coil, I can tell with a very high degree of precision the distance between the screw and the coil. So, if you were to take three targets and put them in range of the coils and you could tell the distance between them, you could effectively build what's called a Stuart platform. This is great because we can use the kinematics of the Stuart platform to back out the movement, translation, and rotation of the top platform. The kinematics of Stuart platforms are well understood, yet dauntingly complex, so the firmware running on the awesome mouse makes some approximations when it calculates the location of the knob. It then takes that location data and sends it back to my computer as a USB HID device, where it can be parsed into whatever application is waiting to accept it. And just to give you guys a quick demo of what the Awesome Mouse is currently capable of, I wrote a little C++ application that takes in the USB HID data and converts it into SolidWorks API calls. You can see I've got a little test block here that I can spin around. I can rotate it on all three axes. And you can just see the debug data down there in the bottom right. I can also translate it, so zoom in and out. We're shifting it left and right, or up or down. And because this is an open source project, all the software, firmware, hardware, all available on GitHub in the description. Uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.